Now there's a few easy ways to create bullet points in Photoshop, but the first thing you need to do is select your type tool by pressing T, and then just click and drag out on your canvas like so to create a text box. This just makes life a lot easier when it comes time to format all of your bullet points. Now the first way to add a bullet point is by using a keyboard shortcut on a Mac. Just press Option and 8, and if you're on a Windows computer, then I'll leave that shortcut up on the screen right now as I don't want to get those numbers messed up. Anyways, once you've used that shortcut, you can begin typing whatever you want for that bullet point. Then when it comes time to add a second bullet point, you can just press enter and then repeat the process. Now, another way of adding a bullet point is just by copying and pasting the bullet point that I added into the description below. Just copy and paste that into Photoshop and then you'll be good to go. Now, the final way that you can add bullet points is using glyphs. Now, glyphs can be found across all of your different fonts, but there's one font in particular that has a ton of interesting bullet point styles, which is called Wingdings. So to access your glyphs panel, just go to Window and down here to Glyphs, and then we want to set our font. Down to Wingdings. Then within the list panel of Wingdings, you can see that there's a bunch of bullet points here that you can choose from, and they're all a little bit more unique than this little black dot. To add those bullet points, all you have to do is just double click on that glyph and it will add that bullet point in there. Again, you can click on any of these options and you'll get a few different styles depending on what you're wanting. Just remember that when you go back to type your sentence that follows the bullet point, you'll need to change your font back in the options bar to your desired font. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.